Hey you guys, so I'm back with another message from the Lord and this message clearly dropped in my spirit um, while I was leaving the house and then God began to download more into my spirit while driving out doing my errands. And he and this is messages for the women and it's also for men too as well, but mostly for women because I'm talking from a women perspective. God is saying you will be found in your purpose. And this is for like a lot of women um, that are waiting for marriage, waiting for their spouse. God said you will be found in your purpose. All right. Um, that's why it's so important for us to build a personal relationship with God so we can know what our purpose is, so we can be found in our purpose. Um, the example that God has given me is when um, Abraham has sent out his servant to find Isaac a wife. Um, if Rebecca was not operating in her purpose at the well, she had would never been she would have never been found by the servant for the servant to take her back to Isaac for her to get married to Isaac and be Isaac's wife. So we have to operate in our purpose. This is how your kingdom spouse is going to be able to identify you. You're going to have to operate in your purpose. God clearly told me he was just like your husband going to find you operating in your purpose. Your purpose um your purpose with your purpose and by you operating in your purpose, it allows your kingdom spouse to be able to identify you. It allows your spouse to be able to identify you. All right. And so that's why it's very, very important for us to operate in our purpose. Um, a lot of women that I'm seeing during this time, they are um, idolizing marriage, pretty much idolatry because we want to be, because they want to be married um so badly and i can say we because i used to be there i'm gonna give y'all an example for me yes i was married i'm happily divorced however whenever i got married i wasn't fully operating in my purpose i was more so wanting to be married than operating in my purpose and when we idolized marriage instead of putting god first and not operating in our purpose we will attract the wrong people. We will attract the wrong mates. Um, we will attract people that are narcissists. We will attract people that are abusive because we're not fully operating in our purpose. Had I been fully operating in my purpose, I would have never married my husband, but see, I, my ex-husband. But see, I knew, I know that now because I had to go through the process so I can be a testimony to someone else. That's why I preach heavily about operating in your purpose. Making God your first love. First of all, God should be your first love. But operating in your purpose, if you really want to be married, if you really want to attract who God has for you, you must be operating in your purpose. Um, When the servant went to go find Isaac a wife, he said a specific prayer to God so he could be able to identify the right woman to marry Isaac. And if we're not operating in our purpose, how is our husbands going to be able to identify us? Because the things that our husbands are praying for are the exact way we must be operating. And if we're not operating that way, then we're not we're, we're not going to attract the husband or the spouse in which God has ordained us to be with. That's why it's so important. For us to operate in our purpose. Our purpose is attached to our kingdom spouses. Our purpose is attached to our assignments. Our children are attached to our purpose. All that stuff is attached together. And when you're not properly operating in your purpose, you are attracting the wrong thing. Some of y'all ladies that are waiting on y'all husband. God clearly said y'all husband is waiting for y'all to walk into y'all purpose. Some of y'all husbands know who y'all are, but because you won't walk into the purpose in which God has called you to walk into, he cannot come and get you because you're not ready because you're not being fully 100% submissive to God. You must be 100% submissive to God first. That's why I had 
released the previous video and said be mindful of who you are who you guys are listening to when it comes to kingdom marriages and stuff like that because they're not teaching you that you must operate in your your purpose first you are married to god first before you are married to anyone else god is your first husband god is your first spouse so if you're not operating in your purpose and being 100 percent submissive your kingdom spouse is not gonna come your kingdom husband or whoever God has ordained for you is not going to come because you're not ready to receive that person. So are you operating in your purpose? So your husband can find you. So your spouse can find you. Another thing is, if you carry certain anointings and you fully operate in your anointing, your spouse is going to mirror you. So say for instance, say for instance, if you carry the Esther anointing, that means that Esther was a queen. That means your husband carries a kingship anointing. So he might carry the anointing of David because David was a king. But you have to know what purpose you have to operate in your purpose so you can know. Because all of this matter. This will help you to identify your spouse. This will help you to identify the characteristic of your spouses when you're fully operating in your purpose. And when you're fully operating in your purpose, you will collide into your destiny, which, which, which is a part of your kingdom spouse, which relates to your kingdom spouse. Y'all will collide into one another. That's how y'all will cross paths with each other when you're fully operating in your purpose. Another thing too that I noticed when me being um, dating my ex-husband, when I was trying to fully walk into my purpose, he kicked against it. That was a red flag. That was just a lot of people saying, oh, that y'all just going through the rough patches as far as dating. No, who God has for you is going to fully come in and support what you got going on. Y'all going to compliment each other. That's why it's very imperative that you guys operate in your purpose. The marriage will come. You just have to be in position. You have to work your purpose. We as children, men and women of God, we have certain assignments and tasks we have to complete first before we go into marriage. But see, a lot of these ministries are not talking about that. But you have to complete the assignments and the tasks that God give you. Because once you get married and once you come into union with your kingdom spouse, you are going to be on a whole totally different assignment, a workship of kingship and work and work in the kingdom together. And that's why some of uh, people are missing the mark because y'all are y'all don't want to do the work that y'all need to do for god now so that's why your wait time is feel like it's longer and two because y'all are idolizing marriage instead of putting god first seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of his righteousness shall be added unto you you have to do your work and seek ye first the kingdom all right so I just wanted to come and share that because God would not release me from that. Because like I said, I'm seeing a lot of young women teaching about um, kingdom marriages and stuff like that. But they're not teaching you the importance of operating in your purpose in order to get there. You have to operate in your purpose for your husband or your wife to be able to identify you. Because this is how God is telling the people, telling his children about who their spouses is by them operating in their purpose. And that's why a lot of people are missing it. Or a lot of y'all are feeling like y'all are in a place to where y'all are stagnant. And it's not because uh, your kingdom spouse might not be ready. No, it's because you're not walking into your full purpose yet. That's another thing too. All right. So just wanted to come and share that. Also, you guys, um, thank you all for liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, please join the channel. Okay. Please join the channel because... The members of the channel, they get teachings, real in-depth teachings like this um, from what God has placed on my heart. And I, I do, I give them free ebooks, all right, on things like this, about their purpose and stuff like this. Um, it's part of my assignment, part of my mission. I'm just being obedient. Um, but join the channel so y'all can get this extra additional teachings that God has placed into my spirit. Not just teachings and coaching too as well, all right? Um, that God has assigned for me to do in this hour. So actually join. Um, it benefits you to join. Because when you join, you get free information. You get free, you know, stuff that God has given to me. You get it for free when you, uh, you get it, you know. You get a lot of stuff when you join. Okay, the actual channel. So 
I love you guys. Just wanted to come and share that your spouse, you will be found in your purpose, all right? Stop worrying about it. Stop tripping. Just operate and work your purpose. All right, you guys. I love you, and I will chat with you all later.